Howdy y'all, Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas. And today I want to talk to you about a problem that was sent in to, by, to me by a subscriber. Dear Mr. Kazi, when 1.375 grams of copper 2 oxide was reduced by hydrogen, 1.098 grams was obtained. In another experiment, 1.178 grams of copper was dissolved in nitric acid and the resulting copper nitrate was converted into copper 2 oxide. The weight of copper, oxide, copper 2 oxide formed was 1.478 grams. Show that in both experiments, the law of definite proportion holds true. All right, first let's take a look at the law of definite proportions and it says that a given compound always has the same composition of elements in a fixed ratio. So that means no matter where you are in the world, a compound is always going to have the same composition. All right, so that means then we can look at the mole ratio and the mole ratio of copper to oxide is one to one, which means that for every copper, there is one oxygen. So then we can calculate the molar mass. We just have to take the molar mass of copper, add it to the molar mass of oxygen, and since it's one to one, add them together, and we have that copper two oxide is 79.55 grams per mole. Now, let's look at the percent by mass. We know that 63.55 grams of copper are in 79.55 grams of copper two oxide. Thus, it's 80% copper, which means then if we calculate the oxygen, it should be 20%, and it is. All right, so let's go back to the problem and notice that we were given 1.375 grams of copper two oxide, and it was reduced to 1.098 grams of copper. Great. To the blackboard, and let's figure out the percent copper. 1.375 grams of copper two oxide multiplied by 0 0.80 and we get 1.100 grams and remember that we ended up with 1.098 grams of copper that's pretty dang close i'd say that we proved that the law of definite composition is true let's go to the other example notice we have 1.178 grams of copper and it was dissolved in nitric acid and we got uh, 1.476 grams of copper two oxide to the blackboard. Uh, let's do the percent copper. So we'll take the uh, 1.476 grams of copper two oxide, multiply that by 80% and we have 1.181 grams of copper. How much did we have in the experiment? 1.178. Uh, that's within what? Three hundredths of a gram? No, three thousandths of a gram. I'd say that's pretty. All right. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up if this helped. And check out some of my other videos. And most of all, don't forget to subscribe. And also click on that little bell to get notifications of my other videos. Happy hands, y'all.